Are you still wearing that silly bandage? Take it off already. Hello, and welcome to another Astro One video presentation. Today we'll be discussing the unique rotational motion of Uranus. Here Uranus? Actually, Stephen, it's pronounced Uranus. Anyway, unlike the other planets, Uranus rotates on its side, <laughs> such that its rotational axis lies along the ecliptic plane of the solar system. How did Uranus come to be Uranus. this way? Did it form this way? It's tempting to believe that a large object came along and struck Uranus, Uranus, knocking it over on its side. Today we're going to test that hypothesis on Uranus. Will you please stop butting in? <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> uh, sorry. Here I have an ordinary bicycle wheel. Here. No way! Ah, oh, come on, Steven. You've been slacking off a lot lately. Here, take the wheel. And now we're going to spin the wheel up really fast, giving it lots of angular momentum. The spinning wheel represents Uranus. Go ahead, Stephen. Try to tilt it over. <laughs> if we attach a rope to it and let it go, you'll see that not even gravity can pull its rotational axis downward. Although it does cause it to precess, just like the planets. Oh! As we discussed previously, Due to the conservation of angular momentum, an object will continue rotating in the same direction unless an outside force acts upon it, causing its rotational axis to change. But this is very difficult to do, as you can see. And the planets are huge, so the chance that an impact caused Uranus to be knocked over is highly unlikely. Furthermore, the moons of Uranus all orbit around the tilted equator as well, further strengthening the hypothesis that the planet formed this way. Join us again next time as we explore another exciting Uranus. Astro Stop it! Astronomy concept. See you next time. <laughs> now that's going to require some bandaging. Anyway, unlike the other planets, urinate. <laughs> <laughs> Uranus rotates, <laughs> or urinate for short. <laughs> <laughs>